Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the future of last mile delivery and I'm here today with Steve Peck who's the CEO of Helix. Hi Steve. Hi. Um, maybe you can t talk us through why Helix and maybe the context of why we need a new solution for last mile delivery. Sure. Um, last mile delivery and mobility in general, that's been coming for the last 10 years, but we're still, as a, 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 a culture, focused entirely upon uh, electrifying existing models. So um, Helix has been developed to service the pure last mile delivery in terms of um, uh, the hub and spoke models of logistics and ride hailing. So our focus is on uh, the, the dense cities in the world, the mega cities in the world, and how we move uh, goods and people around in a sustainable way. Very good. So this is so much more than just a vehicle, right? So you have a whole platform, a whole solution. Maybe we can start by talking about the vehicle itself and then broaden this out a little bit about what what's the whole package that you're offering. So the vehicle itself, what's different about it? Okay, so the vehicle itself has been designed and developed in such a way that it can be manufactured anywhere in the world without craftsmanship and without uh, the levels of expertise and still deliver on uh, the consistency of quality and price point. And in that way, we have uh, redesigned uh, and, and reconfigured how a vehicle is assembled. The purpose of doing this was so as we could then put a factory in a localized location where the uh, the customers that are going to be using the vehicles are in the same location as where the vehicles are made. This eliminates a lot of uh, the global shipping that we're seeing today. Yeah, the idea is to have these micro factories, right, that you have right in the middle of mega cities where you can build those vehicles and they're just a few component parts that you put together, is that right? Absolutely, so the, the Helix uh, manufacturing hub uh, we aim to commission those within 180 days. So in order to hit that very aggressive target, we have uh, almost uh, reinvented what is inside of our factories and how our factories operate. Our factories are very lean and they run on a very low OPEX uh, methodology. Uh, but in order to, to do that, the components that are coming in are designed very differently. So the best way to think about this is uh, you don't need to be a chef to learn how to put McDonald's burgers together. And it's the same, you don't need to know how to build a vehicle to put Helix together. In order for us to have these mobility hubs operational, we have a set of standard processes and a set of uh, technology uh, sensor sets that tells us exactly where these vehicles are in its journey from supply chain all the way through to distribution. And this is all managed uh, centrally uh, by our mission control here in the UK. Very good. It's almost a digital hub, digital twin of the factory that you're controlling from here. Absolutely. So a digital twin plays a huge part of what we do at Helix. Uh, every, every aspect and every vertical of the business is essentially uh, digital twin. So we know exactly what should be where at what given point at what level. And this is important in one factory, but imagine 10 factories all working together. It's the digital twin aspect of it that allows us to incubate our model and replicate it um, without replicating errors. Any efficiencies we see or any inefficiencies we see in factories, we're able to address that within the centralized uh, platform and either apply it to the whole uh, process or eliminate it from the whole process. Yeah. Very good. So we have the vehicle that is simplified. You can build this really easily, designed for last mile delivery. So companies like Uber and Grab and Parcel Delivery, um, and you have the smart factories, the little manufacturing hubs in cities, digital twins, but you're not selling the vehicle, right? Absolutely. So um, we're talking about the Ubers and the Grabs. 
These businesses uh, depend upon getting as many drivers as they can. In fact, the success of those businesses depends on how many drivers they have. And owning a vehicle and getting a vehicle to be able to do that job is a huge barrier for a lot of these drivers, especially in developing uh, regions uh, such as Jakarta, in Africa, uh, Bogota. So by reducing the barrier to entry, we can get more drivers into our vehicles, which means more electric vehicles in service. And we do that through a subscription model only. So uh, you can't own one of these vehicles, you simply subscribe to it, you subscribe to it over six months, one year, two years, three years, you get a better price the longer you subscribe to it, but it means that you don't have to worry about serviceability. If anything goes wrong, we just simply swap the vehicles over. You haven't got to worry about residuals because at the end of the day you just hand the vehicle back and continue on with your uh, subscription. Fergus is almost like a software as a service model, right? It's basically um, uh, a software as a service model, but with really complex and expensive hardware uh, in between. So we're working with uh, a number of uh, uh, insure tech and fintech companies to make sure that we de-risk a lot of the hardware in this. And ultimately, um, with it not being available for sale, it doesn't go into a second-hand market, so there's no demand for parts on it. And so the likelihood is uh, they're not going to go missing. Very good. So what have been the biggest challenges for you so far in creating this completely new platform and, and business model for the, the delivery industry? So when we talk about the business model, uh, there's a lot of moving parts within Helix and it's very easy to focus on the little van itself, but software plays a huge part of, uh, of our, our platform. And there are challenges in terms of making sure that we've got the right data flow, we've got the right um, information coming in, going out and being processed in between. But we are partnered with uh, Siemens uh, to develop our process based on their PLM systems as well. So there is, 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 we've got some strong collaborations with, with Siemens. Uh, and then of course the usual um, startup, it's all about funding going forward. So those are the biggest challenges. And because of uh, our business does have those many moving parts, even though it's a very unique business model, it's making sure that we describe the business right and describe the opportunities that we're going to be bringing and maybe the growth, you know, the scalable growth of Helix going forwards. That's our biggest challenge. So what's your vision of the future of the last mile delivery and what role do you see Helix playing in that vision? Like all mobility concepts, these are going to mature, develop, and there's going to be more demand in that last mile than just these vehicles. Not everybody wants a vehicle like this. So um, within our portfolio of vehicles, once we have uh, our factories in place and they're all operational, we will then start to introduce other products, smaller products, larger products, products that are more suitable uh, at a granular level to users. Uh, and then we can start implementing those into the factories. Amazing. Thank you very much, Steve, for your Thank time you. today. Thank You're you. Welcome.